kind of hid behind that persona for a really long time. And I, I was so worried about what others would think of me or how they would judge me um, if I presented as my true self. Right. So I was a product of my own misdirected identity. And in that, um, I struggled for a really long time in, in who I wanted to be and, and what I ex expected of myself. And I judged myself a lot. Um, and, and it, it really took time for me to become comfortable in my own skin, uh, and be comfortable with who I was and recognize that I, I wasn't controlling the thoughts about myself. Right. So everything has to, everything has to be internal first, right? If I'm not showing up as me first, then I can't, I can't do any good to anyone else. Right? I have to be my most authentic self first. Um, and so, so that's really where it became born out of is how was I judging myself? Um, and then from there, I was able to look at how I was judging everything around me. You know, why did I have preconceived notions about this or that or the other? Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of it has to do with, with, with the negativity that we feed ourselves. Uh, you know, I touched on social media, but there's, um, you know, I, I, I know that you guys tend to talk about politics quite a bit, right? Um, I, I try to stay away from politics um, because there's so much negativity around it in, um, in, in how we approach others. And um, there, was a, there was a famous study done that, that focused on the news. And if you look at the news, you know, the, my dad said something um, that that you know by five o'clock in the afternoon, all the news is just copy and paste, right? So, so a couple of years ago, I was thinking to myself, you know, all I hear on the news is just negative, 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 negative. Um, you know, it's who got murdered, it's who got robbed, it's what's going on in the world, and you, I mean, it's and this was during the pandemic, so you know, the world was shutting down, everyone was dying. Um, nobody cared about people. Everybody was isolated. Um, and it was just fear all the way around. And I thought to myself, why isn't there a good news network? Why isn't there a, a, a news platform that just spreads good news? Well, you know what, Val? There is. And it's been around for like 30 years. Really? People. Absolutely. Guess what it's called? What? The, the good news network. Come on. Is that I swear really? To swear, swear to God, it's called the Good News Network, and and all it does is talk about good news. And so there's this there's this famous study that was done that looked on it's it's a positive psychology study, and what it looked at was what are we inputting into ourselves and how does it affect us long term throughout the day. And the study found that if you just if you watched only three minutes of regular network news of negative of negative input news um in the morning you had a, a high 70 percent chance of reporting later in the day that you had a bad day so just three minutes of negative input in the morning affects how you viewed your day at the end of the day you know and and we could go on about positive psychology and 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 uh, I mean I could talk about that forever you know gratitude journaling and things like that people who end their day or start their day with gratitude journaling tend to have a brighter outlook and a more optimistic look on life right they they and and all of this feeds back into that that judgment piece right you can't help but judge right it's it's i mean it's it, it's as old as time it's as old as Adam and Eve Right. Um, but you can you can reframe. You can you can stop once you recognize, hey, you know what? Maybe I'm not having the most positive thought here. Maybe maybe my thought pattern isn't the healthiest right now and become introspective of what is what does that thought pattern do to me? How does that affect me long term? How does it affect my day? How does it affect how I look at the things around me? How does it affect my interpersonal relationships? And the interpersonal dynamics. How does it affect the way that I speak to others? How does it affect the way that I speak to myself? Um, so you know, it, it's it's important to recognize that you can't control that first thought. You know, that's that's innate. It's hardwired. 
there's there's nothing you can do about that first thought. But there's something you can do about the second thought or the third thought or the 10th thought or the 500th thought. Wow, that is a 